Hello and welcome to episode 60. Lots of more fingers than DBSB's yeah. got, and he's got loads of fingers. <laughs> extra fingers. I actually have one extra finger. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that little bit there was a finger. Cool. Yeah. Hi, right, welcome to episode 60 of the Mr. Courgette and Mr. DBSB. Chili and no. zombie, zombie experience. experience. Oh, it just oh, gets, we're, we're clearly out of practice. It's been a while. Smooth. Yeah, it's, this is our first one this year. Yes. You know, socially um, distanced. Yeah. Al outdoors. Al fresco dining experience. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, well, we thought we'd mix it up. It's been a while since we've been able to do this. So yeah. We thought you know, now that things allow for as long as they do. Yeah. We get out in the sun and do this. Obviously, we've not been able to watch a film together, so no. we're doing this slightly differently to we would normally. But yeah. because we are both here right now, it does mean we can try some chili. Excellent. So, should we get into it? Yeah, let's get into it. Cool. So the sauce we have today is for a company called Norfolk Heatwave. Oh. And it's called Nelson's Ghost, which is a deadly hot ghost chili sauce. The Admiral's Blend. Arr. Well, he wouldn't have gone R, would he? he was, no, he was, no, that was a bit more piracy. Watto, <laughs> what have some hot sauce. Um, it looks fairly liquidy, so I think we might have to carefully pour this one out. Yeah. But it is 55% Naga chilies. That's quite a oh, Yeah. That's, that's, that's an in intensive amount of chilli. Now, it's been in the cupboard a little bit. So I'm giving it a proper shake to yeah. make sure that we're getting shaky, a good mixture shaky. of stuff. Yeah. I can I can hear it, so I'm thinking it's going to be a, a, a kind of a Tabasco-like consistency sauce. Right, select your weapon. There you go. Got one. Excellent. Cool. Right, going to give this a whiff. Quite fruity, getting quite yeah. a lot of um, chilliness. Yeah. I'm going to pour some and then I'm going to set it down for you to inspect. Okay. Yeah, that looks quite wet. It does. I'm trying to put that there. Okay. Okay. This is going to oh. be like when you used to do the egg and spoon race at school. I'm going to try and get this to my mouth. Just I am everywhere. smelling that sort of like vinegar. Yeah. The the I'm Tabasco. It's, it's like yeah. hot. It's it's but it's got that Tabasco y yeah. kind of smell. Cool. So yeah. Okay. So yeah, still getting quite a lot of fruitiness now. It's opened up. Yeah. Shall we down in one? Yeah. I yeah. Think so. That is sharp. And that is an immediate heat, an immediate sharpness. Oh. <gasps> oh. It's, it cuts it's through you. Yeah, mm. that's. Um, they've done a good job at cutting through the heat of that chili because it, like 55% of the bottle being chilies, they've had to cut it. Yeah. But it's, it's actually. There's an immediate heat. But once it levels out, it's fairly nice. It's quite really salty. I thought. I'm definitely getting a bit of saltiness, but um, it's, the it's that sharpness up front. Yeah. Ooh, very sharp to begin with. Him. Oh, that's hot. Yeah. It's a proper tongue burn. <coughs> that is. That's the hottest we've had after a while. Well, Gonjian aside. Yeah. Gonjian has its own like echelon of, of heat. That's uh, yeah. You're gonna want a little bit of that in something you're cooking. Like if you're making, say, burritos, enchiladas, something like that. You want a bit of it in the sauce you're making, but you don't want to splurge it everywhere. A bit on a cheese and toast. Oh yeah, nice little stream cheese and toast. Yeah. Maybe not in a toasty because it's just too stealthy. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, that is. That's right. hot. Okay. I think that is good for the sauce. So I reckon we're going to show that against the people at home. That is Norfolk Heatwave Nelson's Ghost. If you want an extreme sauce, go to their website here. Um, it's one of three sauces in the series. There's also a Trinidad Scorpion and a Carolina Reaper sauce, but we've gone for the ghost chili one for now. So while you're recovering... The Carolina Reaper one, that, that's going to be... Yeah, that's going to be a properly line your stomach one. Right, now, on to film matters. So this film I have watched last night, but DBSB is yet to see. So I've got to try and describe this film without spoiling DBSB. So, well, right, I'm going to walk away and eat a bit of a bit of rivita. A rivita. Go for it. So, this is Navy Seals versus Zombies, and it pretty much does what it says on the tin. It's a pretty formulaic military extraction film. Um, a small group of Navy SEALs are parachuted in to sort out some zombie shenanigans and, um, and retrieve some important people. Um, I don't want to say much more, so I don't give away too many spoilers, but um, I'm giving this maybe a mm, 3 or 4 out of 10. It's pretty formulaic, there's some good zombie deaths, there's a lot of zombies. I mean like, the number of extras in this film is huge, there's so many zombies. There's some good deaths, both human and zombie. Um, overall they do really well with the budget they've got, for the effects they do, but it's very budget. And it's not brilliant, but you know what? It's got zombies, and Navy Seals, and zombies. Um, it also has a wrestler, but we're not gonna name him because he's currently canceled. Um, but zombies. I'm gonna wait for DABSB to recover and see if he hasn't fallen in a pond. So, it's a few hours later and um, I've just watched Navy Seals vs Zombies <sighs> what is there to say about Navy Seals vs Zombies um, lots of stock footage <laughs> um, some questionable special effects um, I think it could have been a lot more interesting as a short film a lot sh snappier and then it gets oh yeah oh no it finishes off with oh Navy Seals great they fight well and they're immune to zombies um I, I, it, it, it wasn't sure if it wanted to be a political action thriller or an action film. Just a, I think if they'd have gone for just going, we're full on action film. It, it did so many action film tropes. The uh, the headquarters with people with headphones going, God damn it, where are you? Where are you? The the news reporters. Something I noticed that the, the, the news channel was ZNN News. They must have known. Surely that means Zombie Network News. And, uh, and yeah, so, yeah, trying to find the vice president, save the vice president. And no, that's not the end. We've got a new mission for you. You've got to go through Baton Rouge and find the mysterious hidden laboratory up at the tallest building 
in in the north direction and it will be manned by a beautiful blonde scientist who just needs the fingers of some zombies uh, uh, yeah this not good no um and uh, it's annoying it's not even in the so bad it's good kind of thing um just not 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 great um and i don't know, i don't like to be negative i've never made a, a feature film so you know i don't fully understand the choice but yeah there was a lot of stock footage and oh dear me no hopefully the next film will be better let's go back to the park so you've heard what we both think about the film that was navy seals versus zombies that was nelson's ghost we are Mr. DBSB and Mr. Mr. Courgette and this was episode 60 of the Chili and Zombie Experience. Experience. Oh my.